Hi everybody, Riley Kitts here, your Government Affairs Director for the Colorado Children's Campaign inside our beautiful Capitol on the third floor this Friday, even though it is rainy and drizzly outside. It was another awesome week here down at the Capitol. This week, the Senate debated the Long Bill, which is the annual appropriation or budget bill. It was debated on Wednesday, and really it was one of the shortest debates that I have ever seen on a Long Bill. Usually we're going wait, late into the night, marathon debates, but this year was only about three hours. We were done by about 5 or 5.30. 43 amendments were offered for the long bill, 11 made it on, and we were glad to see some of the progress. None of the full day K money was threatened. We were able to stop an amendment that pulled funding from the census, and we were able to see an amendment make it on to help for family planning dollars into the next year. Really a great week for the budget. We were excited to see it pass out of the Senate with bipartisan support. Only about six no votes on the long bill in the Senate, which is great. It now heads over to the House to have the exact same process next week. They'll hear it, they'll debate it, they'll offer amendments. I can anticipate though that this will be a bit of a longer debate for next week. This week, we also saw another bipartisan passage of one of our bills. Uh, House Bill 1239 is a bill to make sure that every person gets accurately counted in the 2020 census. The census is the basis for so many of our programs. We get billions and billions and billions of dollars uh, from the federal government just because of our census data. But we also rely on it for a whole host of other reasons. Transportation uses it, business uses it, schools use it to find out where to allocate resources. Our own Sarah Hughes was there to testify in support of the bill and it passed out of the state uh, veterans and military affairs committee in the house on a seven to two vote really great job sarah next week like i said the uh, long bill will make its way over to the house where it'll be debated we we'll also have a few bills that we're supporting or trying to see changes made to on tuesday there's an educator loan forgiveness bill in which our own leslie Caldwell will be testifying in support that's made it through the the senate and is now being heard in the house and there's also a bill to revisit the READ Act this year. Uh, we've been working tirelessly with other stakeholders to make sure the bill gets into a good spot. That's currently scheduled for Thursday next week, and we'll be there here on Friday to let you know how all those bills go. Otherwise, you guys know where to find us. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and make sure to follow our podcast. Make sure you subscribe. This week, our own Bill Jager is talking about the progress made on full day kindergarten. We're excited to see that bill move in. It has its hearing in just two weeks, April 9th. If you want to come down and see how full day kindergarten is going to get funded in our state, come join the committee. It's going to be a great one. Y'all have a nice weekend.